what's going on everybody uh today we're out here doing a little bit of freshwater fishing i know it's been a while since i've posted any videos but decided to come out here try my luck and do a little bit of freshwater fishing for some carp today i'm out here with my friend lupe i don't know if you can see him i know it's a little dark this morning but lupe is somewhere out there hopefully we can get on some carp uh we're gonna make the bait the pack bait that we got and uh see what goes on what we got here is some panko breadcrumbs we're gonna be mixing it inside that container and pretty much it's just breadcrumbs a little bit of uh corn flour which i like to use it helps uh with uh making the bait a little bit more firm or compact and some strawberry jello and some corn too but i don't even know where i left the corn <laughs> it should be somewhere right here putting in the strawberry jello the three boxes three boxes yeah so depending on how much how long you you're gonna fish that's how much you mix up it's not really like a proper measurement that i have for it but uh if you guys would like to know how to make the pack bait just message me and i'll let you guys know so once everything is in here i just pretty much i'm, I'm pretty much just mix the dry ingredients it's a lot of, easier to mix them while it's dry i can smell that strawberry hardcore so once you start making this pack bait you start, should start seeing it turn red or pink. And that's it right there, guys. Pretty much you just want to be able to, you know, you want it to be kind of like this to where you could just easily pack your bait so it doesn't really stick to your hand or anything. And these are the rigs that we're going to be using today. We got these carp rigs right here. And pretty much just a sliding weight. Depending on if there's current, I use a... You know, or depending on the current, I use a certain size uh, sliding weight. Right? But this is about a quarter ounce. Or an eighth of an ounce. And we got these carp springs. So what you do is you pretty much pack your bait onto these springs and then you fill up you fill up these hooks with corn and so the way this works is the pack bait is supposed to attract the fish with scent so the strawberry pretty much attracts them and then when they eat when they when they when they come and eat the pack bait they come down and they eat the corn as well so that's pretty much how we end up catching them and uh that's what we're gonna do today now we're gonna open up the, the corn here spill out some of this water so what i really like to do here guys is i like to fill up these hooks i like to get the nice kernels of corn we are using size six hooks and really you don't need the pack bait i'm pretty sure you can catch a carp on just corn itself with maybe like on a single drop or a double drop but me and lupe like using these um, carp rigs because it always works for us if the carp are here we will catch them Hey, Lupe. Yes, sir. <laughs> and normally I just uh, fill them up with corn first because it takes a while sometimes. Okay, we're going to get some of this pack bait right here. And pretty much you just pack it, you know, just like, just like so. And that's it. Just like this. Should look something like that when it's going to be ready to cast. And let's see how it goes. Okay. 
We drop the line over there on the left side and see if anything bites. Something tells me we're gonna get a bite right away. Usually, if they're hungry, man, those carp will be biting quick. I've been wanting to catch a carp on this rod right here for a while now. On the Battleborn rod. We're gonna do a little cast out there. You better get that rod before you right got some bites right there, guys. He's taking it, he's got it. He's definitely got a carp. Or he, I mean, we definitely got a carp right here. Got him. What the fuck is my carp? <laughs> Hope it's not a turtle. Oh, fuck. That's nice. Yeah. You might want to bring that net. You know, guys, and the thing about carp is that their their mouths are very sensitive. So, so there's times that you can literally tear their tear the hook out their mouths. You know. Oh, that's a nice carp right there. Check it out, guys. Real nice carp this morning. Let's see if it doesn't get out. Ready, Lupe? Yeah. Here we go. Oh, he got off. Uh, he got off. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he got, yeah. Ah, and he got off because it got stuck right there on that grass. But that was a real nice carp, guys. Yeah. And it's always a challenge here, you know, with all this grass. But man, I lost that nice little carp right there. Don't worry, dude. We'll get another one. Good day, yep. Yeah, I'm very young. Well, that was one. We had them, but you got off. And that's the thing with these carps, guys, that sometimes, you know, if you don't have a net for them, or if you're not careful with them, they will, you, you will tear the mouth easily. But it's all right, we're gonna go get, an, we're gonna get another one. The good thing is that they're biting right now. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill up these hooks again, the corn. And see if we can get another one. Well, they're in here. And when I set the drag on this, I always like to have it a little bit loose. Not too, too loose, but just enough to where you can set the hook or the fish can set the hook on himself as soon as it takes off. This one's probably, they probably took my bait on this one. I really want a freaking carp on this rod, dude. Yeah. I'm gonna put a little bit more pack bait and, and fill these up with corn too. Yeah. Yep, and that's why I like coming early because you gotta beat the sun. Yeah, the earlier the better. Or in at night, you know. Oh yeah, yeah, in the afternoon. Yeah, Got a good feeling about these right here. Over there, I keep seeing some action over there on that end, way out there. I've had some real good luck over there on that side. I try our luck again. See if. See if we can get them on this on this red rod right here. We had some good bites right now. You know, sometimes you won't even know that you even have the carp on because you, you'll just be messing with the line over here and swimming in circles and stuff. And um, so I pay attention to my line sometimes as well because you'll see it just you know getting loose, tightening up, getting loose, tightening up. And something's definitely messing with it right now. It's funny because I've caught catfish on that setup. I've caught bluegills, warmouth, all sorts of random fish, little fish. So you never know. You know? Man, what is that? You might need to get that net, Lupe. We got a carp, guys. <laughs> it looks like a buffalo carp, too. That's what I wanted. I wanted to. You think you can get him over there? He's coming slowly. He's coming right here. He's coming. He 
He's over here now. Yeah, here he comes. It's a nice little buffalo carp. Here it comes. <laughs> Check out that buffalo carp. Yep, nice one. Caught him on that pack bait, strawberry pack bait, and uh, the corn. Mm -hmm. It's a nice one. Nice little start off the morning. Yes, sir. We did lose one already, but see if we can get some more. We're going to release them. There you go. <laughs> okay, well, we're using the pack bait, strawberry pack bait, some corn. We still got one rod out there. Lupus checking on his because he hasn't had any bites really. Might have to move it this way or try it out a different area. You got a buffalo carp too? Where's it at? Oh, come closer, closer. There we go. There we go. <laughs> the weird thing about it was, it wasn't even. Yeah, that's all I was telling the people on, on the camera that sometimes you won't even know that you have them. Like, they'll just be swimming around with it. <laughs> yeah. Real nice carp. Uh, it's kind of like the one I caught. Yeah. But. But it's a bit smaller, right? Yeah, maybe a little bit. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> not bad, not bad. That's number two for, for this morning. Lost one, I caught one, and then he caught this one. So. Okay. Well, today we're going to spare your life. Mm. Yeah, that's it. Yep. I'm about to dry this line. <laughs> and he was about to switch his rods over there. Like a nice impact. There we go, let me see. Uh, yeah, there we go. Okay. I'm gonna put some corn on there. Oh, we got a lot of dogs. Looper got a carp, guys. <laughs> His rod was all bent. <laughs> got away. Se fue. Damn, never mind, guys. Looper does have a fish. <laughs> <laughs> we got some dogs barking over there but it's a fat freaking carp huh? nah you can release them okay. unless somebody wants it but we'll let them grow and live to Give us some more carp. Yeah. <laughs> Got one, guys. Got one. Oh, that's a big one. Yep. We got one. Just making sure I'm recording. Is there any way you could go, like, get close to it down there or no? Let me see if I can walk them this way. He's coming.
He's coming. You know. Damn. He's in there, bro. That's as far as I can get him. Let me let him swim. Let me see. Oh man. There he is. Here he comes. He's right here. He's right there. Got him. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. It's like a freaking football. Big carp, Liam. Yep. What's fat today? Check it out, Dave. Oh, look at this, bro. What? <laughs> it's a nice one. Real nice carp, common carp. Uh, very healthy. You know, we're gonna go ahead and release this guy. We just caught it on the on that beat. We're gonna see if we can throw him back in. <laughs> Cannonball! <laughs> He's been eating all the cart bait, <laughs> all the pack bait and corn. Now, nah, carp actually eat a lot of grass shrimp. Yeah. They eat grass shrimp. And... You got one? Oh, he's got one, guys. Oh, it's screaming. And it's way out there. Slowly, just slowly get them out of there. Walk them this way, back this way. Yeah. Oh, there's a big one, dude. Hold on. How can I get him? Yeah. Hold on. There he is. Oh. Yeah. Let's take him over there. Let's take him to the truck, yeah. Damn, guys. Check it out. Lupe caught another carp. This one's big, guys. Oh. It's a pretty good sized carp. Yeah. That is a really nice carp, man. Common carp. They love the corn and the strawberry pack bait. You gonna measure him? Yeah. 25 inch. Wait, uh, 20, uh, 24? Yeah, yeah, 24. 24 inches. It's like a, that's a two foot carp. It's just still a good size. So, we just got that big old carp that Lupe caught. It was a 24 inch carp. Really, really nice, nice uh, common carp. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and release them. Throw them back into the water. Beautiful fish. Let's see if we can get some more before it gets a little hotter. Probably gonna be here for a while longer and then see what's up. All right guys, so 
we did come to a different spot um we're gonna try it out here on this side in this different area um i'm just gonna set up my rod real quick Lupus got a carp. Let me get the net. Yep. Damn, I saw big. I can't get down there though, Lupin. You yeah. you might have to be the one to get down there. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Come on. He's stuck under the grass. Yeah, he's stuck under the grass. Try to bring it this way to the right. Yeah. Careful because it drops. Let me hang up the drag a little bit. He got away. He got away? He. Oh, it's not matter, Leo. Hold on, cuz. And that was a big carp, though. Yeah, I know, man. And, you know, I still don't. It's all this grass. You know, if he wasn't for the grass, Leo. We would have caught him. That was a big one, too. We got another carp, guys. A big one, too. You done? Damn. Yeah, it's gonna be hard to get it here. Hold on. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you done? Oh. Nice freaking carp, man. Real nice carp. It's probably like what, another 24 inch? Yeah. Twenty-three. Yeah, twenty-three. Twenty-three inches. A little bit smaller than the other one over there. That's still a good one. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and release them. There it is. <laughs> well, guys. Unfortunately, we weren't able to get anything else. The day did get really hot. It is a hot day today. So, um, we are gonna be heading home. But either way, guys, I really appreciate it, uh, each and every one of you for watching. Uh, I know I haven't posted uh, as much videos as I should, but I do have a lot of future plans for the channel. So make sure you guys uh, stay tuned. Either way, we did have a good time out here. We did get some uh, buffalo carp. We got some common carp. You know, we got a few good ones, lost a few good ones. Either way, we had a great time. But either way, guys, thanks for watching and until next time.